to Lutonix Nation on this Friday evening. Another edition of Knicks Post Game Live presented by Manscaped. CP the franchise, Alex Rotaros on the ones and twos. On this show, the Knicks head up to the six on the second night of back to back after escaping Madison Square Garden with a bum night win over the Pistons. On a night like tonight, the Knicks brought their A game. The big three led the way. Jalen, Julius, RJ Barrett setting the tone. But a monster third quarter from Josh Hart would blow this thing open along with a seven for nine performance from downtown from the big ragu in Dante DiVincenzo. The Nova boys went up in the six and got the Knicks a dominant statement victory over the Raptors in a game that they needed to win. And they now set their sights for Milwaukee. We want to go to Vegas. Let's get it going, man. 119 to 106. The Knicks get the job done. This, mm. this is a win. Don't tell me about that Detroit stuff. Yeah, yesterday you had Knicks fans making excuses for the Detroit Pistons. I thought this was Detroit Piston fan TV. The amount of love that we gave that team on a bum night. On a night like tonight, this is how you win. You had RJ set the tone. He's back home, giving the rock early. Families in the stands. Set the tone. Seven straight Nick points. Great job. I thought, I mean, Brunson, what more can you say about him? What more can you say? Easy. Easy. It's almost comical how good he is. And I, I thought he took that matchup with Schroeder personally. I thought there was maybe some World Cup, you know, ramifications there. He took that personally and, and left Schroeder in his wake. Julius, excellent game by Julius. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, we're going to talk about the Nova Trio a lot tonight. Don't forget about Julius Randle because I thought he was excellent tonight as a playmaker. Made yes. every right read that you can make. Played off of the double teams in an excellent way. Found corner three shooter after corner three shooter. Julius Randle on a, on a night where his knee was messed up. Excellent night for him tonight. Almost another triple-double for Julius. So give him, a, give him credit. He was the best Knicks playmaker by a mile tonight. Great job. Uh, talked about Brunson. Easy. Third quarter. You know, the Raptors had went on a bit of a run. To open up mm -hmm. that third. Things had gotten a little bit quiet for the Knicks. And at about the four and a half minute mark. The Knicks were only up by about six in this game. Josh Hart. 15 straight Nick points. How's that for not getting adjusted? 15 straight Nick points. Playing very well off of Julius Randle passes. The chemistry was on point. Extra aggressive. Especially in the half court. Josh Hart, 15 straight points, man. Excellent job. I thought that's what really, you know, put them in cruise control. And then from there, the big ragu took over, man. The big ragu splashing from all over the court, leaving sauce everywhere. I don't know, man. Seven and nine from downtown for the big ragu. 21 points. I want to see a lot of three and O's in the chat today. I need to see a lot of three and O's because we went three and O on this week. All right. Yeah. We had a we had a tough loss to the Phoenix Suns where it came down to a Devin Booker last last minute shot. But then this team bounced back, CP, and knocks off three straight. Going now, going now, yeah, to play the Milwaukee Bucks, riding high after getting a solid win against the Toronto Raptors. And you said everything that happened tonight, man. Everything perfectly. Look, from Jalen Brunson doing Jalen Brunson things. Randall, as you pointed out, like Randall almost close to a triple double. His playmaking, man. Playmaking. Was Not only was tonight. he finding the corner three, there's a connection now between him and Josh Hart for how he just finds Josh Hart out on the perimeter or cutting, and Josh Hart was just getting easy layup after easy layup. So we got to yeah. give credit to that to that combo working out tonight in, in tonight's game. You had RJ playing physical, but really CP, we got to give credit to this bench because the bench in the second quarter didn't really come out. For, like on all quick on all cylinders. Yeah. That's where the Toronto Raptors started to get make a little bit of a comeback, right? Started to keep that game close. Third quarter comes around, you you start to see the the switch of like the trickle in of the effect, right? But once that full, once we get Dante and Hart back in there mm. with quickly, things started to skyrocket. Yeah, and yes, it was most it was more so Josh Hart who went on fifteen got fifteen strength points, 
But we got to talk about Dante's Inferno tonight, CP. Because he was on Inferno, fire. Inferno, man. Talk about it. Dante's Inferno. The this Inferno, man shot man. 70% from the field. 7 and 9 from yeah. downtown. Yeah. This guy is, look, with performances like this, CP, it only makes it louder for the fans that say he needs to be a starter because he's just letting it rip. Letting it rip. And this was a solid, yeah. this was a solid production from him, man. Solid production. So... I like the way that Dante played tonight, man, because it is him just knowing what he wants to do. We talked about it on last night's show. He is just, it's its confidence, quick decision-making, right? And he knows when he wants to pull on a three. He knows when he wants to drive. He knows when he wants to play and make. He's very aggressive. I'm still not there saying he put it, put him in the starting unit, but he deserves more minutes when he's yeah. playing like this, yeah. for sure. And you just see where it's like working with Randall, working with Brunson, man. The chemistry that he's just, he's a newcomer, Chemistry's but yet he's creating chemistry off the rip. Love how Dante played tonight, man. And Josh Hart, dude, just be aggressive. That's all you needed to be. Tips in and stop. Stop yeah, with yeah. this nonsense. Go out there, do what you do. Don't tell me that it's taking time for you to be comfortable. Just do what you do. And this tonight, he did what he did. This is how yeah. he pops off the screen, man. This is last year's Josh yeah, Hart when he's just play. aggressive, finishing through contact. You see how he's playing defense out there. Yeah. No nonsense. And, you see and, him and defending past Siakam too. Yeah, and, and stepping into his threes, man. Your view on it. Um, I think, to me, DiVincenzo mm -hmm. makes Grimes expandable. You know okay. what I mean? Like, as far as, like, trading. You know, I think that, you know, we should look really seriously, look into it and see if there's any takers. I'm pretty sure there's takers out there. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's just what kind of takers. And that's number one. And number two, with the way that, that the Cavs are going right now, if they keep, you know, losing, then I think there's a real possibility that Donovan Mitchell can be traded this season. And so you can also put Grimes into that situation as well. Just want to get your take on that and see what you think. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always thought that even before the season started. I thought that when they got DiVincenzo that obviously that there is a a log jam on, on if you want to look at it that way, but if you, you could also look at it as a, a nice depth piece, but it does create a lot of players in a similar position. And so at some point when they consolidate, somebody could be the odd man out. Could be Grimes, could be DiVincenzo, who knows? But it just gives them options for the future should they want to uh, make a move. And, yeah, what happens in mm -hmm. Cleveland, who knows? They, they, uh, they look like they're doing some soul searching out there, man. They lost to the Blazers last <laughs> night. They had a team meeting, yep. coach team only meeting and all of this going on. So they seem like they're going through a little bit of a, uh, a rut. Let's see how they get out of it. Uh, I thought it was a great game. Um, I like how we, we came out in the second half and we didn't give them life. To be honest, because we could have had a third quarter of doom, but we put our foot on the gas, never looked back, to be honest. Um, I got a little worried about Mitch. I don't know if this is something to keep your eye on for mm -hmm. Tuesday, mm -hmm. but he did, take a, he did take a bump. I think he fell. Somebody He tried to grab a rebound, and I think Boucher jumped on him, and he fell, and he started limping a little bit. Mm. I don't know why Tiz didn't take him out of the game, so yeah. maybe that's something worth noting. Hopefully... With enough rest, he'll be fine Tuesday. Um, Quentin Grimes, just want to touch on that real quick. Listen, uh, last season, uh, Emmanuel quickly didn't start off the best, right? It took him a couple games before he finally got going. RJ, you know, we've seen RJ play up and down, um, and he got his time. Mm -hmm. Mitchell Robinson, before he became what he is, what he is right now, he used to foul. He used to uh, be in foul trouble all the time injured, you know, moving screens, uh, and now he's he's a beast, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm getting at here is that let's be patient with Quentin Grimes. I know he's in, he, maybe he's in a little bit of danger of, of losing his starting spot with Dante shooting so well and playing so well, but I don't think this is the time to really pile on Quentin Grimes. I think this is the time to be patient with him. Yeah, I'm not saying that, you know, maybe he doesn't lose some minutes here and there, but 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 I'm just saying, like you can't completely remove him out of the rotation. Yeah, we gotta be patient with or him. Or not let him play. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like, of course. I I think we should just be patient with him, just like we've been patient with, with all the other kids. Yeah. I think we should be patient, and I think it's gonna pay off in the end. Okay. 
All right, re- respect, man. Good to hear from you, man. Deal. All right, Al. See you on Sunday. Let's get some rest and regroup. Peace.